The images in the following program are highly sensitive and may be as disturbing to viewers as they were to us. However, we have to show the truth about animal cruelty. Hello, intelligent viewers, and welcome to Animal World, our co-inhabitants. On this episode of the Stop Animal Cruelty series, we feature Dr. Michael Greger, an American physician specializing in clinical nutrition who is a vegan, meaning he follows an animal-free diet. Dr. Greger is also an author and internationally recognized speaker on public health issues who currently serves as Director of Public Health and Animal Agriculture for the Humane Society of the United States, a highly respected U.S. animal welfare organization. In his most recent book, Bird Flu, A Virus of Our Own Hatching, Dr. Greger discusses how consumption of animal products and the widespread inhumane practice of factory farming pose serious threats to global public health. One of Dr. Greger's chief concerns is the emergence of new forms of influenza viruses, which frequently originate from factory farmed animals who are made to live in utterly appalling conditions. Many of the plagues that have infected humanity for centuries actually emerged from animals in the first place. Now certainly in the last 30 years or so, about three quarters of all new emerging human infectious diseases have come from the animal kingdom, have come from the way in which we've changed either their habitats or the way in which we formed them. The origin of the swine flu virus that has caused a worldwide pandemic was from pigs confined in squalid factory farms in North Carolina, USA. However, other diseases also arise from the sickening way in which pigs and other farmed animals are raised. An investigative report by Prevention Magazine in the U.S. revealed that a high percentage of factory farm workers test positive for the deadly antibiotic resistant Staphylococcus superbug MRSA or methicillin resistant Staph aureus, which can cause serious skin infections leading to life threatening organ damage. Dr. Greger explains how the meat industry spreads the dangerous MRSA infection to the community. In the past, the only people that used to get MRSA infections were either people in the hospital or people visiting people in the hospital. But then all of a sudden, there started to appear cases of MRSA in people that had no contact with the medical care settings, so-called community-acquired MRSA. In the Netherlands, they found very high rates of MRSA infection among people that worked among pigs and among the pigs themselves. In these intensive animal feed operations, antibiotics are given on a daily basis to make livestock grow faster and, ironically, to prevent illnesses caused by the very conditions in which the animals are kept. In the U.S. alone, 70 percent of all antibiotics produced are given to farm animals just to keep them briefly alive in stressful and extremely inhumane conditions. Just this year in 2009, we finally did the first testing of pigs and pig farmers here in the United States. Approximately half of pig farmers and half of pigs that have been tested here in the United States are infected with MRSA, which really raises the question, could these farms and these farming environments be leading to these community-acquired infections? MRSA can be spread by infected farm and slaughterhouse workers who become carriers, as well as through the preparation of meat containing MRSA. We looked at retail pork in Louisiana and found that pork samples bought right from the supermarket also had MRSA on it. People may handle it and 
should one touch a meat sample that has MRSA and then unwittingly touch their mucous membranes, their eyes, nose, and mouth, if they happen to rub their eyes or something, then they could become infected and could be carriers of this disease and then spread it to their family, spread it to their pets, and spread it to other people. And so that's why it not only is a food safety risk, but is a, a public health risk as well. And MRSA is only one of many multi-drug resistant pathogens. Another dangerous epidemic comes from egg consumption. The method by which eggs are produced is a story of callousness and cold-heartedness. There's now an, an epidemic of egg-borne salmonella here in the United States. Over 100,000 Americans every year come, become sick from salmonella they got from eggs. And it's the way we now raise animals in terms of egg production by the hundreds of thousands um, in a single building, what are called battery cages, these small barren wire enclosures um, extending down long rows and windowless sheds. It can be literally up to a million birds in a single shed. You keep animals like that, and no wonder salmonella and these other pathogens are so rife through these facilities and can create a food-borne salmonella hazard um, in the actual food products. Dr. Greger next shares an important but little known fact about the long term effects of contracting salmonella. You get infected with salmonella once, you can have what's called reactive arthritis, chronic arthritis for the rest of your life. When we return, Dr. Greger will further explain how these unconscionable concentrated animal feeding operations create threats to human health. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. <laughs> 